Morning, sunshine. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I, need, I need to finish my coffee. We got a little chilly one, and when, when I say chilly, I mean 68 <laughs> degrees in Florida. First off, all right, we're at the beach. Freaking phenomenal. Let me look at this. We have waves. I'm gonna grab a surfboard real quick. <laughs> I got my board. Okay, this right here, pro surfboard. All right, <laughs> see you out there. Catch you later. Yes, okay, we just finished the Pathos workout. Phenomenal day. We probably freaking burned. I mean, it was cardio intensive, body weight only. There was one station with a kettlebell. Probably burned like 600, 800 calories. But today's video is about how to still hit your goals without tracking calories, consumed or burned. I didn't track any calories, not wearing a Whoop, not wearing an Apple Watch. I love those things, I'm just not wearing them right now. So, in the video, I'll explain kind of how I see my day and my week and still be able to hit my goals without worrying about this many calories burned, that many calories consumed. Is that fair, that makes sense? So let's have a day, let's have some fun, and let's let it rip, catch on the waves. <laughs> Today is really not to, not to lean in too heavy, because I mean, if I get after it, if I, if I really try, <laughs> these waves can't handle this, man. <laughs> I can't even handle this wetsuit. Let's just say, it looks like you're struggling with that wetsuit on. Huh? <laughs> You know what sucks? What? When the best photographer is also the best surfer. <laughs> I'm not the best photographer. <laughs> yeah, so typically when I surf, <laughs> after I catch like 15 or 30 waves, this is why I love, I, I hate and love you because I'm like, dude, I just want to go back home, cook some breakfast, start the day. And Josh is like, bro, we get, we get waves once a year in Florida, so do the right thing. And I'm like, all right, bro, fine, you win. Was it worth it? <sighs> yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get into, uh, I'm gonna finish the week. I've been front loading all my all my work this week, getting ahead of schedule, baby coming, all that good stuff. But we're making time for the YouTube because we freaking believe, we love it. It's gonna be phenomenal to grow. Um, so real quick, we're gonna jump in the hot tub, break it down real quick, and then cook some breakfast, and then get going for the rest of the day. The best dog, the best boy, he licks his butthole, so I'm not gonna do <laughs> So the uh, hurricane, we're gonna get it. Oh my gosh. I don't do that. I do not, there's a couple things in life I don't do. And frogs? <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta turn, I gotta turn it on. I mean, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Don't even fit. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I am going to fight you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you hear him scream? Dude, he took it and then threw it at my face. <laughs> cool. But no, this is a freaking great morning, man. Hey, Drew, there's no whining in the Zen Den. You know that. There's crying. That's, that's okay. If it comes from the heart. But yeah, surf uh, sesh was awesome. We probably, we probably did burn. Talking about calories, like we probably burned upwards of a thousand the whole morning the thing is I, I just don't know because I one of the things 
for me like what's what's least important is the calorie expenditure the calorie burn um because yeah i think ryan touched on it for me i would get kind of maybe obsessive like my whoop for instance if i had a bad night's sleep all the whoop would tell me is like confirmation that like hey you just freaking slept like dog crap so like have a great day but like your 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 strain is you know through the roof or whatever recovery's bad so i think you know more importantly than knowing that is getting back on track sooner and I think for me, I'd rather be focused on the process. I'd rather be focused on once a week I go to Pathos Beach Workout. Once a week I'll, I'll play pickleball, I try to. Uh, four times a week I'm lifting weights. Every single day I'm walking, going on bike rides. So if I, stay to, if I stick to that process, then I feel pretty good. When life hits me with curveballs, I'll try to, you know, when we go to the hospital for our baby, I'll take the stairs and I'll, I'll be doing stuff like that, doing push-ups in the room, like just finding ways to stay moving. To me, I'm worried about the process. I'm more focused on the process than the actual uh, numbers of calories, if that makes sense. A couple things to keep in mind, practical steps. Um, Cause like, like Colin said, I mean, I've coached hundreds of guys by now with macros. Like again, most guys are, is that the frog? <laughs> Get him. Uh, most guys, including myself, are not eating enough protein naturally. Um, so one of the best ways to you know increase protein is find out what you're eating and then eat more of the the foods highest in protein. MyFitnessPal, EatThisMuch.com, awesome resources there. Um, but if you're not in a season of tracking, then I think the it's like the basics really. And once you practice the basics, then it becomes how consistent you can be with the basics. So the number one focus I have is being consistent. Um, my breakfasts, like we'll cook in a little bit, are pretty much the same every day. Eggs, um, Greek yogurt, mush oats, peanut butter, toast, and probably some like bacon or turkey bacon. Usually a little protein smoothie as well in there. Lunch is always kind of similar, whether it's a turkey sandwich or if it's ground beef or if it's some leftovers, always protein focus. And then dinners, same thing, always focus on the meat, on the protein, on the actual, um, on the main course of the meal. And if I don't eat, eat it all, it's typically the carbohydrates like the potatoes or um, uh, things of that nature. So protein's number one, consistency's number two, making sure I'm, I'm good with that. And then, um, and then the movement, like if, if I'm just moving, sticking to the process, if I have my stand up desk, I'm going on uh, midday walks, like having that balance is huge. And then um, making small tweaks from there is a lot easier than like trying to um, be all in or like super extreme, if that makes sense. You know, genetics do play a role, but don't let that hinder you um, because at the end of the day, like I think what I believe is you can surprise yourself with how, um, how great you look and feel with training, with time and consistency. You know, for me, I've been training since I was in middle school, high school. Uh, I played baseball in high school, sports, you know, basketball in high school. So I've been training for years. But here's the cool part about like lifting weights, you know, uh, putting time and energy, investing into your health and physique. Once you get fit, I think it's a lot easier to stay fit because you have that inertia, you have that momentum. And so it only comes down to how consistent can you be over the months and years, right? Success is not measured in days, although it's important to win the day and, and be, be as best as you can in the day. Success is measured in years. So if we fall off every month or get back on, it's like, that's why it's so important to stay consistent. Because when you put together years, that's when you're gonna be at your best. And one last thing to, to reframe with food, for me, I don't believe in cheat meals and I don't believe food is either good or bad. I think food is on the spectrum of nutrients, right? So some food, like McDonald's, is pretty freaking low in nutrients. But I'm not going to say that's a cheat meal because I, I just think, and this is, Totally, it could be a false belief or whatever. It'd be interesting to talk to Josh's wife, Gabby, who's a psychologist, but I think by saying this is a cheat meal, it could do more harm and be more detrimental to your health and fitness journey than if you just looked at it like, it's just not that much, there's not many nutrients here. And what I mean by that, as my dog's going crazy, is it's the psychological game of food where it's like, if I have a cheat meal, and I indulge or pig out or whatever, I'll feel crappier about myself. Which then I'm like, dang, like 
that kind of can snowball into eating worse and worse and eating less nutrient foods and you're just gonna beat yourself up and the reality is food is fuel it's energy it's life so so focus on the um, the the really high quality foods the life-giving foods the nutrient-dense foods and the more you feed off that the less you want the, the fake stuff no more frogs okay <laughs> do not throw a frog in my face ready for breakfast trip or a new hobby rather um cast iron skillet definitely needs to be clean gonna cook some eggs it's my go-to four eggs over medium American cheese, pink Himalayan salt, um, Greek yogurt, mushed oats. I wanna make some tea too. Timing of my breakfast does not really matter. I eat when I'm hungry and that's basically it. It's way easier to dial in nutrition and eat a little bit less calories than it is to burn more than you eat. Um, I think a lot of people when they're like, I need to shred up for summer, I need to get lean for this wedding, I need to, you know, whatever. I think people think that they need to run more and eat less. And you know that, that kind of makes sense, but also uh, it, it's just exhausting because you're not gonna get enough fuel for the workouts and the movement. And then you're gonna be, again, burning out, not staying consistent. So instead of trying to work off that burger, just have half the burgers per week. Like you can dial the calories back and it's much easier to eat 500 fewer calories in a day than it is to burn 500 more calories in a day. This bad boy. Do you want to eat breakfast with Danny? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Forgot to mention inside. Uh, quick snack. Biggest thing is, you guessed it, protein. So, number one snack for me, chops, meat stick. Anything like that, nuts, mixed nuts. Um, anything that has a lot of protein packed in it, that's what you want to snack on throughout the day. Not chips, not empty stuff that's going to make you feel hungrier after eating it. Right, baby? <laughs> hey. Ooh, mush? You want some mush? All right, well, that kind of just wraps it up. It's a great morning. This is my favorite part of life right here lately is just, she, Gianna's like, she's like, da-da, breakfast. And then I'll just cook breakfast and eat it with her. But uh, we talked about the lifestyle, talked about movement, talked about the process. Uh, I'll share, she put this on my plate. <laughs> mm, the horse, he's hungry. Um, we'll talk about, uh, I'll, I'll kind of go into a deeper dive if you guys want uh, into what a day, a day of eating actually looks like for me. So if you want to see that, leave a comment. Thank you, mama. Wow, look at that service. Love you. Five star, dude. Yeah, I mean, the whole point is to enjoy life. I mean, food is fuel. Your body is a, uh, a gift and a machine. So, you know, develop it, take great care of it. Know that you are so much more than your body, your physique, your, like where you are in your fitness journey. Just embrace progress, embrace growth. And try to have fun during, the, try to have fun during the whole thing. Say thanks for watching. Say like, subscribe, leave a comment. But no, appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Excited to continue creating. Um, if you have any ideas for content that you want to see, um, let us know. But you guys are awesome. I we check comments and we get ideas. We got ideas uh, for this from a comment. So keep it coming. Keep enjoying. Thanks for watching. As I eat my daughter's. <laughs>